That's right, a good old fashioned spelling bee. John's reputation around town lives up to his title of historian supervisor at Blizzard HQ. Whispers of this game spread through the hallways of Blizzard as creative teams, development teams alike were shaking with fear, wondering if they'd have to go head to head with the lore master. Cries of relief were heard throughout Irvine as his colleagues discovered that it was hand-selected fans stepping up to the plate, and not them. It is, once again, time to gear up for battle to see if one of our three new players can overthrow the final boss. This is Stump Sean. This is Stump Sean. I'm your host and lore master in training, Melanie Johnson. Let's meet our three worthy opponents. First up, we have Phoebe. Hello, Phoebe. Hi. Hi, it says here that your main is a level 60 night elf warrior and that you're pursuing a degree in game design. How is that going? Where are you studying? I'm studying at the University of Utah in the EAE program, so that's uh, Entertainment Arts and Engineering. I'm a senior, so I'm doing my capstone project, which is essentially getting in a group of 20 or so people and making a video game. That's so exciting, and you must be graduating pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations in advance, Thanks. and thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. <laughs> and next up we have Dan. Hello, Dan. Hello. Hello, and your main is a level 60 fire mage. And <laughs> it says here that you have a funny story about a friend hacking your account. Yeah, after a LAN party, a friend found a way to get into my account and just stripped my character naked and put him in the middle of Stranglethorn Vale uh, after they deleted my hearthstone. So <gasps> I was forced to walk all the miles back to a town while being slaughtered by whore players. Oh my gosh, the ultimate walk of shame. <laughs> exactly. And last but certainly not least, we have Caesar. Hello, Caesar. Hello. It says here you are a level 60 gnome warrior and that your character has some special alchemy skills. Ooh, I'd love to hear more about that. Back in the days, I was actually one of the first characters to have the uh, flask of the Titans recipe, Ooh. so. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, good times back in the day, good times. Well, that's exciting, and I'm sure you're even better now. A smidge. <laughs> well, I hope a lot, because you are up against some fierce competition. Speaking of, Sean, what do we think of these three fine players? You said fierce competition. They're bringing it, so right? absolutely I'm in trouble. Okay, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and jump into our first round, which is death by trivia. A question will appear on the screen. Every correct answer is worth one point. The first player who buzzes in will have the opportunity to answer the question from four multiple choice answers that will appear on the screen. If the answer is incorrect, then the other two players can buzz in. Now there's only 10 questions this round, so if you think you know the answer, buzz in. We ready? Oh, we're ready. All right, <laughs> let's get started. Question one. With the coming of the Cataclysm, which horde race led the attack against the city of Gilneas? Phoebe, your answers to choose from are A, Orc, B, Forsaken, C, Goblin, or D, Troll? Uh, B, Forsaken. That is correct. Question two. Who is the daughter of Edwin Van Cleef and the final boss of the Heroic Deadmines dungeon? Dan, your answers to choose from are A, Vanessa Van Cleef, B, Sarah Van Cleef, C, Mary Van Cleef, or D, Beth Van Cleef? A. That is correct. Number three. Which faction leader went missing en route to a diplomatic summit at Theramore Isle? Dan, your answers to choose from are A, Lane Rin, B, Varian Rin, C, Tiffin Rin, or B, Bolvar for Dragon. Uh, I'm gonna say B, Varian Rin. That is correct. Question four, which of the following can no longer be tamed by a hunter? BB, A, Porcupines, B, Goats, C, Crocolisks, or D, Worgen? Uh, D, Worgen? That is correct. <laughs> Question five, the mining profession ability toughness used to provide an increase to what attribute? Caesar, A, agility, B, intellect, C, strength, or D, stamina? C, strength. That is incorrect. Dan? D, stamina. That is correct. Question six, what is the name of the undead faction controlled by the Lich King? BB, A, the damned, B, the undead, C, the wretched, or D, the scourge? Uh, D, the scourge. That is correct. Question seven, what demigod did Gromash Hellscream slay after consuming corrupted blood on Kalimdor? Dan, A, Malorn, B, Ysira, C, Zaytar, or D, Ursal? Uh, I think it is Z Zaytar. That is incorrect. Bibi, is it Malorn? That is correct. Question eight. When first introduced, what item was required to gain entry to Anixia's lair? Caesar, A, Shard of the Flame, B, Shard of the Scale, C, Drakefire Amulet, or D, Ring of Binding? B. That is incorrect. Dan? 
C, Drake Fire Amulet. That is correct. Question nine. Which of the following is not a member of the Black Dragonflight? Phoebe, A, Onyxia, B, Nefarian, C, Aranicus, or D, Sibelian? Uh, C, Aranicus. That is correct. Question 10. Malorn Raymond is a raid here set for which class? BB. Your options are A, Priest, B, Mage, C, Rogue, or D, Druid. Uh, D, Druid. That is correct. Let's count the scores. Phoebe, you received six points. Dan, you received four points. And Caesar, unfortunately, you received zero points. So you will be eliminated from today's competition. But thank you so much for being here, Caesar. Thank you. Anything you'd like to say to Sean before you leave? Sean, it's a pleasure. The pleasure is mine. I love a brotherhood. <laughs> thank you so much, Caesar. With two sensational players left, we refresh the scoreboard back to zero. Let's watch as executive producer of WOW, Holly Longdale, introduces the rules for round two. Hi, I'm Holly Longdale, the executive producer of World of Warcraft. Today in round two, you're going to be playing the WOW version of a classic spelling bee. You're going to have the opportunity to spell five different words. For each correct answer, you're going to earn a point. The player with the most points gets to move on to the final round. Good luck, everyone. That's right, a good old fashioned spelling bee. I will read the word out loud and then you will spell it. Phoebe, you're up first, you ready? As I'll ever be. All right, that's the answer. Let's get started. Phoebe, the first of your five words is Lordaeron. Okay, um, <laughs> L-O-R-D-E-A-R-O-N. That is incorrect. Oh. Just mixed up the A and the E. Oh. Your second word is Nerzul. N-E-R uh, apostrophe Z-H-U-L. That is correct. Your third word is Danath. Oh no. <laughs> uh, D-A-N-A-T-H. That is correct. Your fourth word is Naxxramas. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, N-A-X. X R A M A S. That is correct. And your fifth and final word is Orgrimmar. Okay. O R G R I M M A R. That is correct. Phoebe, nicely done. <laughs> you got four out of five. Incredible job. Thank you. And you were nervous. Yeah. <laughs> you a little nervous, Dan? A little bit, yeah. You got to get five out of five to beat Phoebe in this round. Okay. All but right. I trust that you can do it, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe in you. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Your first out of five words is Aegwyn. Aegwyn. A E G Y N? That is incorrect. Ooh, no. There's a W in there and another N. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, but hey, you could still tie. Your second word is Khadgar. Ooh. K H A D G A R. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Your third word is Stratholm. S-T-R-A-T-H-O-L-M-E. That is correct. Okay. Your fourth word is Medivh. M-E-D-I-V-H. That is correct. And your fifth and final word, bring it home, Teldrassil. Okay, T-E-L-D-R-I-S-S-I-L. That is incorrect. Ah. It was an A instead of an I. Ah, oh, dang. So close. <laughs> you had three out of the five. So Dan, unfortunately, you are eliminated from the competition today, but such a great effort, Dan. Oh, thank you. Any departing words of wisdom for Dan, Sean? Those are some seriously tough words. So you fought <laughs> like a champ and you should be super proud. Thank I mean, you. I was sweating over here. <laughs> yeah, I'll say um, I survived Baron's chat, but I didn't survive this. Okay. <laughs> it's a tough competition. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Give it up for Dan. <laughs> Our Stump Sean final round is a quickfire battle. I'll read a question, and the first player who buzzes in will have the opportunity to answer. If they're incorrect, the other player may guess. Now we have 90 seconds to get through as many questions as possible. If our player, Phoebe, scores more than Sean, our lore master, she will take home the illustrious Stump Sean trophy, as well as have eternal bragging rights that she bested Blizzard's <laughs> historian supervisor. Phoebe, you got this. All right. <laughs> Sean, how you feeling? Very nervous, but I likewise, <laughs> I feel she's got this. <laughs> she's got this. All right, time starts now. 
Which warden was corrupted by the Orb of Dominion and defected to the Burning Legion? Sean. Cordana Felsong. That is correct. What is the max runic power you can have? Phoebe. 100. That is incorrect. Sean. 130. That is correct. What year did the Corrupted Blood incident happen? Sean. 2005. That is correct. What is the first shapeshift creature a druid can form into? Phoebe. Cat. That is correct. Who is the leader of the Pantheon? Sean. Amantho the High Father. That is correct. In the WoW TV commercial, what was the class of Ozzy Osbourne's character? Sean. Warlock. That is correct. <laughs> what is the name of the Drogbar leader who was also known as the Underking? Sean. Drogrul. That is correct. What creature race does the raid boss Kormorok in Hellfire Citadel belong to? Sean. Magnaron? That is correct. Yes. When a player character dies on Azeroth, what being helps them to return to the world of the living? Phoebe. Spirit Healer. That is correct. The Earthen were the progenitors of which player character race? Sean. Dwarves. That is correct. Which old god could be encountered in Ulduar? Phoebe. Yogg-Saron. That is correct. Which warlord of Draenor sacrificed his eye to obtain a vision of his death? Sean. Kilrog Deadeye. That is correct. What pet can be purchased when a guild obtains the Dragon Wrath, Terracosa's Rest, Guild Edition Achievement? Sean. Little Terracosa. Correct. What are the only player character races available to the Demon Hunter class? Elves. Uh, that's Phoebe. <laughs> <Was> that Phoebe? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll give you that one, Phoebe. It was Blood Elf and Night Elf. Oh. The scores have been tallied. Phoebe, you received four points, and Sean, you received 10 points. Phoebe, you did well, but you did not, unfortunately, stump Sean today. Darn. <laughs> Darn indeed, but you did so, so well. You should be so proud of yourself. Thank you. It was an honor to be here, truly. Sean, anything you'd like to say to Phoebe? 100%, she needs to be so proud of herself. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Absolutely. You just witnessed an epic battle between Sean and our brave player, Phoebe. The battle for the throne continues on the next episode of Stump Sean. For the Horde. Why not both? Both is good. Yeah. Bifactional. Bifactional. Oh, whatever. <laughs> when Ysera died, actually, in that cinematic, my wife didn't let me sleep in the bed for a whole week. I, I, I yeah. Yeah. yeah, and she was like, yeah. You can talk to me about it when I'm less mad. <laughs> I was, I was, it's on oh my God. Have you jumped into Dragonflight, World of Warcraft's latest expansion? If not, what are you doing?